today, my friends, we are doing some Armadale. Why? Because, uh, <laughs> because that's our task right now. It's been a few days since I last made a video on this account, but that's because I'm working on King of the Pirates stuff. As usual, it is taking longer than I expected. The nice thing is we are on a Slayer task this time, <laughs> unlike last time. Tell you what though, the kill count for these flies by when you got a Slayer task. A lot of people might tell you that you need black chins and all kinds of stuff for this. You really don't. You just need good gear and you should be set. You'll see what I mean. There we go, that's better. I can see. Well, I guess we got one choice. And that's to pot up and go inside. Ooh, that was a 50. Let's go. And he's down. Or she. Another black D hide body. Didn't expect anything else to be honest, but. So if you've never done armor before, I'd recommend going for the melee first, and then the mage. I could be wrong, but that's just the way I like to do it. <laughs> what was that? Back with the program here. So the way this works is, as long as you are targeting Armadale, as in you've left clicked it like that, it will not move towards you and melee you. You don't want it to melee you. You don't want it to die either. So every time you eat, you always want to make sure you're targeting it at the same time. Otherwise, he'll move towards you, melee you, and probably combo you out, so. I would highly recommend at least 90 range and 90 defense to solo. You could do it with less, but it'll just be significantly harder. A lot of your healing can be done through Bones to Peaches, but that depends on how fast to kill the minions. Unless you're lucky and get mushroom potatoes like that. Also, you're gonna wanna stand in, in the wall right here. Man, this must have been the most annoying boss when there was only fixed mode. I've tried doing armor in fixed mode. Actually, I think I did it last episode when my wife chose my gear. Like, look how far. <laughs> Gotta zoom out so far. And this is with rune light too. Yeah, you basically just want to get the minions minions down as fast as possible. Don't even worry about the drops. I, I mean, unless it's a, a rare drop or something. Then you're not using prayer. You can just pick up your stuff at the end. With these peaches, I like to heal in between because they only heal 8, so they're really good food for in between kills, but not necessarily during the kill, because the amount of time you waste eating food while instead of uh, attacking is a lot. This is such an awkward boss to, to fight. <laughs> if all you have is peaches in your inventory, another thing you can do is peach brew, just like that. Big hit, 53. 20k. Huh? <laughs> almost misclicked right there. Well, I did misclick, but I almost didn't turn on my prayer. That would have been bad. I'm just gonna take a nap now. Ugh. We're gonna let him get closer. I'm not sure if it's a if it's a her or a him. Kriara does sound like a female name, but again, I'm not sure. I'm no bird expert. Look at that altar. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Never looked at that with close detail. All right, we just used our last dose of range potion. That's a big hit, 54. Well, that was a waste of a potato. Another BCP. Beautiful. This one might be a little clutch. We got six doses of brew left and two peaches. Can we do it? Can we do it? Okay, no tuna potatoes. I have a feeling we're gonna have to tab out after this one, but we'll see. Yeah, I really dislike the angle <laughs> that you have to kill Kriara in. It's just so awkward. Well, that was easy. Guess we're going for one more if we get potatoes. Not potatoes. Not potatoes. I mean, technically it is possible. One dose of brew. We're here. Let's just go for it. Let's just... No, uh, that's probably not possible. As long as you have prayer, you're good though, so... We're gonna do it anyways. Okay, we're... <laughs> There's no way. I'm not even gonna try. Not even gonna waste my time there. Also, for this video, I want to challenge myself to make a 10-minute video, but 
a 10 minute video with actual content. With the amount of talking that I like to do, I don't think it'll happen, but at least we can try. <laughs> well, I have two Steam battle staffs in my bank. I'm gonna keep the placeholder just for the memory with that Zami spear. Okay, you see this? This is why we clean out our bank. An extra five mil just hiding away over there. We have 127 left. That chipped away about 100 or 80 kills. Let's gear it for round two. Here we are at Criara once again. Actually, you know what? I forgot, I need to get some B-roll in here. One sec. Please smash like for that B-roll. I love you. Okay, B-roll is done, let's go. Where are my hits at, man? There's one. Oh! Oh ho ho! A god sword shard! Look at that. Look at that line on the floor right there. You could be mad about getting a god sword shard, but I am happy. I am happy. So happy. You can hear it in my voice. Got 150k right here. Beautiful. Come on, bird. You big bird. Anytime now. Anytime now. Potatoes! Mantas! Looks like we got some juggling to do. Don't let me forget. Don't let me forget about these. How? Get away from me. Jesus. That noise has to be the worst noise in RuneScape. I swear. It's like nails ripping into my ears. Arma is definitely one of those bosses where it can go really fast or it can take like five minutes for a kill. So RNG based. Allow me to demonstrate. Come on. That was a waste of a brew. And here we go again. We'll just keep drinking these potions. It's all good. This might be a shorter trip. Unless we get a food drop. Ooh. See, that was a great kill. That was a great one. I don't know why, but these guys always make me think of Egyptians for some reason. The Egyptian god Horus. This one wasn't that bad. 300k. We probably spent that on the supplies. So we broke even. All right, 20kc left. Let's make this quick. Another BCP. Got some crazy luck today. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll take it. Let's hope I actually start taking some damage. I got way too much food to, to waste on here. Considering we got 11 KC on the task left, I'm not even gonna worry about those bones right there. I like this trip, it's really going good. Would you look at that? 17 million range experience. A rune kite shield? How rare is... Th I've never seen one of these from here. That must be rare. Hey, there's the task. Complete. We'll stay here until we finish off the rest of the kills though. So I've just looked, and a rune kite shield is 1 in 2,000. That literally could have been anything else. This will be our final kill. I'm, I'm sure of it. Or we'll tab out. One of the two. I think we're done. I think we're done. <laughs> Let's go open this brimstone key. All right, dragonkin, dragonkin, dragonkin. What's over there? I don't think he'd mind us checking for his wallet now. Okay, I've never actually explored up here. Maybe there's some secrets that we can unlock. What was a camp? Who's camping here? And there's a crate. A wrecked longboat. That is very curious. Well, we've completed our Armadale task. That means that we can get a new one from the gods. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna be taking off the Konar tasks because they're fun to get those keys, but really, they're not that useful because I want 99 Slayer. Okay, bank value is relatively the same. Nothing has changed here. So let's just get a new task. I hope it's some skilling, man. I really hope it's some skilling. No, 
<laughs> I was really hoping for like some chillax skilling. Not this. Not this. But we'll do it. Don't you fret. First up, we're gonna need to get our prospector out if I can find it. Aha! There we go. It kind of sucks because we lose this awesome fashion scape right here. That actually looks really good. But we're doing it for the gains, boys. We're doing it for the gains. Ooh, look at that guy. He's got a big rod. Here we are, three tick mining. Ah! And I already used up one of my marantels. Great. <laughs> Try this again. So go like that. That. Wait a sec. So anytime you're moving between the two rocks, that's when you want to do it. At least I only have 26k to get a level. So we won't be doing this too long. It's just a taste at me learning this. Maybe if we get this again, we'll have to actually learn it for a long time, so. <laughs> Don't watch this. No one watch this, please. You know what? I'm gonna have to watch another video for this. Be right back. It's better to drop them as you go, but considering I'm just trying to get the basic method down, this is how I'm doing it. All right, let's try this again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think it's starting to work there. All right, I think I'm starting to get it down. I wanna see how to do the drop in the middle of it. And I have to log out every time I do this because uh, I'm on water skins. We don't have the Desert Elite Diary yet, which by the way, that's really not that far off. We'll get that done eventually. I guess before I even get started, well, I already did get started, but before I actually get into this, I could tell you what I'm doing. First of all, just like how we have 60 seconds in one minute, in old school RuneScape, there are 100 seconds in a minute, if that makes sense. Or if you're a music person, there's 100 beats per minute. Every action that you do has a unit of time that it takes. So for example, mining, mining a rock is a five tick cycle. So you have a chance of getting an ore every five ticks. I'm sure many of you have probably seen people using the swamp tar with the with the herb. Making guam tar is a three tick cycle as opposed to the mining which is a five tick. So if you start this before you mine, you basically make the mining a three tick cycle. That's like the best way I can explain it. So the key to this is every three ticks you're clicking a new rock. One, two, click. One, two, click. That's how you should be doing it. I know it doesn't make any sense. You've probably already seen me trying to do it, but that's basically the essence of it. If you're using Rune Light, just go to the metronome tab. Go ahead and turn that on. Set it to one. I wouldn't do the alternating because that's just confusing. And get started. One, two, three. 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 I think I messed up. But just like that, that's how you do it. Man, this is difficult. Just gotta keep going with it. There we go, 76 mining, that's that. Well, we did our best, but we'll have to try this again next time for a longer duration. So, let's get a new task. All right, 1998 total, let's do this. Ooh, ooh, ooh hoo hoo. What do we got? Lumbridge Diaries, what do we have here? Steal from a Dorgish Khan rich chest. No idea where to get that, but now we have the level for it. So let's go, let's go do that. For these situations where you need to go to Dorgish Khan, it's always nice to have some of these in your bank. Very useful. That's super awesome too.
Let's see here. Oh, there's the chest. Let's see what we get. Alright, that was pretty easy. What else can you get from these? Okay, so what if we hop worlds? I'm just curious, like, how good of XP this is. Is it always successful? So far, this seems like it's 200k XP per hour. I'll pull up the rune light real quick. Yeah, so, um, I guess this is another method that people can do. Doesn't seem like you fail at all either. Okay, I'm not gonna be doing that today, but if any of you want to do it, go for it. Alright, that was a pretty quick one. What do we got next? Crafting. Let's do some crafting. So, we are 84 crafting. We need 238k to level. That's gonna work out to... 1,736 air battle staffs. Let's see how much that's gonna cost. So, one air battle staff sells for 8,988, and it costs 9.5k to make. So if we do some calculations, that's approximately 500 coins per battle staff. We got 1736. We're gonna be losing 868k. It's really not that bad. I can, I'll take that. Let's set our quantity to 14, beautiful, and we're off. Let's change our XP drop too. I'm excited. I've been waiting for some skilling for quite a while now. I'm gonna put these above because that way I don't unequip my thing. It'll just make it easier. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this content right here. Five stars. I know this is what you came here for. Wow, there's a, there's a lot of people here. Got an untrimmed range cape, Scrafty. That's a Pokemon, pretty sure. Oof! There we go, 85 crafting. We can now craft Amethyst Arrow Tips. So if you're looking for Amethyst Arrow Tips, your boy right here can make them! Hey. Hey you. Look, I'm still here. I'm just, uh, I just wanted to say thank you. And if you enjoyed the video, please give me a like. Eat your love.